Today we are going to work on creating a lead or at least guiding you guys through the lead screen so that you guys understand how Pixify works, how important that lead screen is, and how it is the start for all of your clients in the future. Uh, let's just get into it. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's Jeremy with Jeremy Lou Photography. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, guys, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. If this video helps you in a way, give it a thumbs up and click that bell for notifications. It'll tell you every time I come on. Guys, we are in... Um, also, if you're new to Pixify or if you're interested in Pixify, in my description, I have a link. Click that link, go into it, make it happen. Um, Pixify is asking me to do a series of videos for you guys, and I'm kind of going off of some comments and some questions that I've made on the videos that we have been making. And um, I wanna kind of start fresh, guys. I wanna kind of start from the beginning here and kind of talk about the lead screen itself. Um, the lead screen is probably the most important screen to me. This is my OCD where I kind of get to put everything in that I want to kind of guide through it. And I wanna kind of just go through this screen itself and kind of show you guys a little bit about what it is and how powerful it is and, and how it's gonna set you up for the future. Uh, one thing I want you to know is that everything you put in the lead screen is able to be created as a token to be put in contracts, invoices, um, emails that go out in the future. So if your lead screen is great and it's fulfilled, then um, you're going to have an easier time pushing everything out later on. And it's not like it's going to be a hard time later on if you don't do it, but you might have to add a few things or search for a few things like phone numbers or emails. Now, the cool thing with the lead screen is completely fillable by your client using questionnaires, right? Or even your website. So basically, if you have a contact page, you can set it so that anything in your contact page is filled out, their first name, last name, email address, and all that will automatically get filled into this little lead screen right here, which is amazing. Um, so they can fill out their name, middle name, phone number, email, email to, all that stuff. They can opt in and out of emails as well. Um, and when you send a questionnaire and anything, let's say their address, maybe you're getting more detailed information, their address, the groom's name, the groom's last name, the groom's mom's name, or whatever you want, it'll automatically get filled in here as well. We're just going to talk through it and what you can fill and rather than how that is. Uh, we did that in the past video, but if you have questions on that, I'm happy to, to go into it again. I'll make myself a little smaller here. All right. So here is, uh, here's the vibe, guys. Let's put myself here. Here's the vibe. So basically, this is your ad lead screen, right? This is the main screen that kind of comes up with. If you notice right here, the contact info is a start, and it has four different contact sections. What this means is that you can have four different people within one lead. So let's talk weddings here. We can have bride. We can have groom. We can have coordinator. We can have mom. We can have whatever you want, bestie, anything. Um, uh, if it's a business, so say it's a commercial company that sometimes I shoot, I, diff I will have four different contact leads for them, and I can put them all together. When I go to send an email later, I can select who I want to email, the groups that I want to email, the people that I want to email, or email everybody. Um, so basically, you can start with the role here. Right, boyfriend, girlfriend, photographer, father, mother. They've kind of built everything in here for us already. If there's something that's not in there, you just email them to say, hey, who it is. I mean, guys, they even have second cousin. I don't even know who if I've ever messaged a second cousin or a first cousin of anybody in here, but it's there. Pronouns, if you guys are doing the pronoun game, um, then you can also add the pronouns here to kind of keep you guys ready to go. Again, if we're missing anything, then let them know and they'll put that in there for you. But I think they covered up pretty much. Um, first, middle and last name, phone number, email, um, and email too. Um, and I like these email twos. Honestly, I do have a, um, a company that I shoot for that I've used all four contacts and I've actually used eight emails. So I just kind of put it there and um, just to email them in general all at once. You can add other phone numbers as well to kind of put that in there. Now you can do this for all four contacts and it depends on how much you want to put in there, how much you do. I'll be honest, I don't do that much for them. Um, I don't put all this information in, but you can. And if you do that, um, kudos to you. That's amazing. You can put their address in here, boom, boom, just normal address stuff, secondary address if you want. So maybe they have a business uh, or a home address that you guys want to kind of put down. You can add that as well. Um, the type of event, you can add different um, um, object types, if you will, but this is either an event lead or a project lead. I always leave it as event lead. And then the lead type, you can kind of go through and set this up for yourself. So every business is different. These are all different types of shot or shoots that I would do or I have done in the past. Um, and I kind of put that lead type right there. It's really cool because when it goes into booking, it puts it in that section already um, to, to, to keep that booked. So it's all kind of like programmed for you already. 
Uh, multi-day event, yes or no. And this is cool because when it goes into your calendar, it'll, it'll book out three or four days if you want to. I know some people are booking like, let's say they book a wedding. Um, they'll put the wedding on like, say the first or say the second. And the first is like rehearsal day. So they'll have that going. And then like delivery day and all that stuff. They'll put it through their calendars to make it really neat. Set up the date for the event. What time does it start? What time does it end? The name of the event, if you will. Um, and what happens is you can just name this event now. So say it's like Tom Jones' birthday. Tom Jones' birthday event. Um, when you go to book it, when you create a lead, a, a, the client um, event off of it, off of this lead, it'll actually put that in for you. Sometimes I, I most of the times I actually just leave this blank. Um, or you can kind of select this to add a token to it if you want. So it'll say client first name, last name, event. And you can kind of set that up if you'd like as well. Um, something's happening right there. Um, we can go into primary contact, to brand, all that fun stuff, right? And it's all pretty self-explanatory. This is also more information. This is more for companies that I use, make commercial shoots that I do. Um, but I can add the company name. I could put their website, um, put all their information in here as well. Who I referred by, I actually really like this, the associate referral. You can click this and it'll pop up a screen of who's referred. Boom, these are all the people that um, I've used in the past. So if anybody got referred one time, it goes in there. And at the end of the year, you can actually look um, to uh, see who your top referrals are. Maybe send them a little gift or something. What is this? You can set the custom message. You can set a custom message that will display every time you can to remind you or staff about something that's important to you. I like this a lot. I've never used this before, but basically if you're like, Hey, this is Steve, Steve hasn't paid his bill in a long time. Or, you know, this is Steve. He complains every time we do a shoot or something like that. It's an internal message for your company only, which is kind of cool notes. You can put anything in here. Typically what I put in here is I put in for anything that they messaged me from the website or anything like that. So say it's the first time they messaged me, I'll then um, pop that in here. So it shows up in my notes. After that you create lead. Once you create the lead, the lead is in your system. It'll be in there forever unless you delete the lead, but you can archive the lead. You can say, hey, the lead never responded back. Hey, the lead uh, booked with somebody else, but a lead will always be there. And then if they email you in the future, it'll say, hey, you have another lead with this information. Do you want to merge them together? So you're like, this person messages me every year, but never books. So maybe that'll be an internal warning as well. But that's it, guys. This is the lead page. It's the most powerful page that you're going to have. Puts everything together, keeps you organized. And then from then... You're able to uh, modify and mark out your business. Hopefully that helps. Thank you guys so much. Let me know if you have any questions or anything in the future. I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.